Okay, guys, we just got to uh, Atlantic City, staying at the Trop this time for Super Bowl weekend. Just uh, checked into the room and we're getting right into it. Getting into some poker. Let's hope they have some 1 3 run. If not, it's 1 2, I guess. Let's go. What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from the Tropicana Hotel Resort Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. This is episode 180 of my poker vlog. That's right, we're back in Atlantic City. I'm gonna add one part one, part two deal last time, but it's an actual episode this time. We're gonna do 180 here. Maybe we'll get into some Borgata. Maybe we'll do some Harris, we don't know. Super Bowl weekend. I'm going to bring you action from the game and from the poker tables and inside the casino. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. All right, guys. Hey, I uh, just want to say thank you for stopping by the channel. If you are new here, do me a favor. Go hit that like and subscribe button. It uh, helps the channel algorithm out, and uh, I would appreciate it. If you're not new here, thank you for being a returning subscriber and checking back in. I hope you guys enjoy this poker vlog from the trap. And here, uh, let's hope Atlantic City does this uh, well. Let's get into it. Okay, after folding for about 15, 20 minutes, I finally get queen jack under the gun and it gets back to me and I decide to make it $12 to go. I'm under the gun, but they are suited, so I just made it a simple $12 to go. Well, the big blind liked it and middle position liked it. We're three ways to the flop. Flop is eight, queen, 10 with two hearts. We got top pair and it's looking pretty good. Checks over to me and I make it $16 to go. And they're both still in. The turn, the seven of spades, all kinds of draws, flush, straight, etc. The big blind decides to bet $35. And I kind of go into the blender for a minute. I look, obviously I have top pair, a lot of draws going, like I said. I guess I come, I'm kind of Hollywood a little bit. I cut chips out and measure out the 35. Still think about it. But ultimately, I'm calling. I have top pair with too many draws out there. Put my chips in the middle, and we are now heads up to the river. The river, boom, nine of spades, completing all the draws. We got flush. We got a straight there. He checks it to me, and I decide to throw out a bet of $75. I announce it first. Start cutting out the chips, and he's tanking. And... He looks at me and says, did you hit the flush? So that to me means he probably has a straight also. But ultimately, he does decide to fold. Unfortunately, I was hoping he would call. And we'll take down the first pot we get in. It's a decent pot. Let's hope the day continues exactly like this. Okay, several orbits later, I'm in middle position with ace eight of spades. Gets to me and I make it $12 yet again to go. Well, three other people like their hand and we're going four ways to the flop. Flop is decent. Two, six, ace with two spades. We got top pair and a really good flush draw going. It checks to me and I throw out a bet of $17. And there is one fold, and we're four ways to the turn, which is the king of spades. We hit our ace high flush. But I'm going to check this and see where everybody else is at. And I do. It checks around to the river, which is the queen of hearts. This time, if it checks to me, I'm betting. And that is exactly what happens. It checks to me and decide to throw out a bet of $35. 
the cutoff is in the tank and the other guy folds out of turn but the cutoff is still tanking and he decides on a call he says i got a flush i said so do i ace high and he doesn't like it and we'll take down that pot glad i got max value there let me know if i should have bet on the turn i felt like if i would have bet it was obvious that i had the flush but let me know down below Okay, here we are with pocket fives in middle position. It gets to me, and I decide to make it $16 to go. And we're heads up to the flop, which is good. Flop is deuce, eight, four with two diamonds. Well, I check, and the button decides to bet $25. I'm feeling pretty good at this point about my five, so I decide to go ahead and call the $25. Well... The turn is going to change everything. It's the nine of diamonds. I cut out some chips and bet $30. Obviously, uh, I have a very backdoor diamond draw uh, and just a pair of pocket fives. And he raises to 130 I did tank for a good minute and a half, but then uh, ultimately, I just had to fold this. I couldn't, couldn't call that. He probably already had the flush. One of the last hands here on the button. I've jacked nine. It's eleven dollars to me, and I decide to call the eleven dollars. And we're going four ways to the flop. The flop is decent. It's ten eight ace with two hearts. Got a gutter to the straight there. We need the queen. The bet is eleven dollars to go to the turn now, and it gets over to me, and. I cut out some chips and decide to call the $11. And it looks like everybody else likes their hand because we're still four ways. That's right, folks. We're going four ways to the turn. Let's hit a queen. The turn. Boom. It's the queen of diamonds. We hit our straight. It checks over to the middle position. Who bets $25 this time? Well, the cutoff to my right throws in the 25 and I Hollywood a little bit. I'm thinking about raising, just not sure what I want to raise to. But ultimately, I decide on a minimum raise of $25. So it's $50 to go now. And everybody else folds except for the cutoff to my right that you can see in the frame there. He calls. The river is an inconsequential four of clubs. He had already checked in the dark. I cut out some chips and announced $50. And he tanks for a good 30, 45 seconds and calls. And yeah, I told him we have the straight and he folds and we'll take down that pot. And I think that's going to be the last hand of the day. I played for about three, three and a half hours and I wanted to get to dinner. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. I'll see you in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.